Hello there, Lictions! Welcome to our Gokology series. If you're a fan of puzzles and other mind games, this one's for you. Before we start, let me introduce you the mastermind of this fun game, Mr. Tadahiko Nagao. He was a famous Japanese psychologist who created this unconventional question and answer game. Kokology came from the Japanese word kokoro, which means the study of mind and spirit. This game is fun for family or friends, especially as it aims to reveal a part of your personality by responding to questions. Another key point that will help you is on how well you imagine. For this one, all you must have will be a paper, a pen, and your creative mind the entire time. Now, I need you to answer as honest as you can so we can have accurate results. So write down with the first thing that comes to your mind as there will be no right or wrong answers. So go ahead and turn up your volume if you need to. I'm telling you, this will be fun. Are you ready? Let's get started. Cocology number one into the depth. Imagine you are passing by a street and you found yourself in an old abandoned building where no one has set foot for years. You looked around and there is no one but you. All you hear is silence. As you enter and hear your footsteps in the creaking hardwood floor, you discovered a staircase leading underground. Slowly, you make your way down, counting the steps as you go. One step, two, three. First question, how many steps more is it until you reach the bottom of the stairs? Write your answer. You are now on the underground room and you notice it is pitch black. There is nothing you can see but you hear the sound. From the darkness, you hear the sound of another person. Second question. What kind of sound have you heard? Choice number one. Is a person weeping softly? Choice number two. Is the person moaning wordlessly? Choice number three, is it a voice speaking to you? Write down your answer. As you heard the sound and remain from the darkness in the pitch black room. Third question, how did you react on the sound of this other person? Choice number one, you try to search out the source of the voice. Choice number two, your first instinct is to run up the stairs without looking back. And choice number three, you feel paralyzed with fear and frozen where you stand. Write down your answer. Now you hear a person calling your name and see a figure descending from the light at the top of the stairs. Last question, who is this person coming down the stairs? This person is somebody you know in real life who pops first in your head. Who is this person coming down the stairs? Write down your answer.
Now let's see how did you do. Try to recall your answers to the four questions and let's see its underlying meaning. What does old building mean? Abandoned buildings and underground rooms are highly symbolic of buried memories and old psychological scars. All of us have had an experience we'd rather not recall or a heartbreak we thought we'd forgotten. But the memory is not so easily erased and the things we hope to forget linger for longer than we'd like to admit. Now your responses to the situation show how you deal with painful memories of the past. The number of steps to the bottom of the stairs indicates the impact of the psychological scars you are bearing. People who said there were only a few stairs, may it be 3, 5, or any less than 10, feel little adverse effect from the past. But those of you who describe a long staircase, such as more than the normal, like 20 or more steps, leading deep into the underground room, carry correspondingly deep wounds inside. Inside the room, the sounds you heard out of the darkness reveal how you got through bad experiences in your past. Those who said they heard weeping have been comforted by others in times of trouble and recovered with the help they received. The people who took care of you in their kindness have helped you become the person you are today. People who heard wordless moaning went through hard times in their past alone. The moaning you hear in the dark is your own buried pain. Perhaps the time has come to open the door and let the sun shine. Things won't look so bleak in the light of the day. And those who heard a voice speaking to them wear their old scars like a badge of honor, refusing to think of them as wounds. You might have been hurt but you accepted this freely and moved on to grow. But be careful not to let this harden you to the feeling of others. Your reaction to the sounds in the darkness shows how you deal with the painful aspects of your own past. If you went out to search for the source of the sound, it's likely you show the same take charge attitude in your own life. By facing problems head on, you're bound to discover solutions. Those who run straight back upstairs without confronting the sounds have a history of ignoring problems in the hopes that they'll just go away. I know a lot of us might have experienced this already. That approach may work sometimes, but don't be surprised when the trouble stays around longer than you anticipated. Sometimes you need to stand and face your fears. If you were frozen in place with fear, it may be that you have unresolved conflicts in your own past that continue to haunt you and keep you from moving ahead with your life. Lastly, the person who appeared at the top of the stairs calling your name is someone you feel you can rely on in times of a trouble. The name you gave is a person you believe will comfort you and help to heal your wounds. So there you have it guys, did you get an accurate result? Just a disclaimer, the meanings posed here may reflect only a fraction of your past experiences but does not mean the be all and end all. Like the great Tadahiko Nagao said, nobody is so great that they can get better. Hope you enjoyed! For the next Cocology, stay tuned for our next video. Thank you very much. Bye!